Hey, how are you? Today, I want to talk to you about the environmental laws that we have in Kenya. And we're going to talk about two main laws that talk about the environment here in Kenya. My name is Mukami, the environmentalist, and I want you to subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button so that you get more of such videos that are going to enlighten you on the environment and where we are as a country and as a world when it comes to the environment. So, in the previous video, which if you have not watched, you need to go and watch them first so that you can understand where we are coming from. We talked about the history of environmental law and I took you as back as when we had the first convention, the Stockholm Convention, that was in 1972. Now, we shall not get there because we talked about that in the video that I'm going to link up here. Just click on that link and it's going to get you back there. So then we came to we came through the process or we came through the journey of environmental law development of environmental law and we learned that this law was developed or these laws were developed because the environment had been degraded and people were feeling the effect of the environmental degradation there was a need for a law there was the need the need had arisen and that is whereby these laws were formed so here in Kenya, we have the first environmental law that was formed as a result of those conventions, and that is called the Environmental Management and Coordination Act of 1999. This act was developed as the, according to the principles that had been laid previously in the, those conventions that we talked about that keep moving on and the law keeps evolving. So that is where we got this law and it was enacted here in Kenya all it is became operational here in Kenya in 1999 and this law is the principal environmental law principle means it is the overall law when it comes to environmental coordination it talks about managing the environment and coordinating the management of the environment and this law is the one that gave birth to NEMA the National Environment Management Authority. This law is to co is to manage. This law is to coordinate the environment. And now it gave birth to NEMA. So the NEMA uses this law as its Bible, its guide. Okay. So it is very important to understand that here in Kenya we have a law that talks about conservation, about management of the environment, about utilization of the environment, and that is called the the environment management, it's called the Environment Management Coordination Act of 1999. It is important to know that. And if you then, the roles of NEMA are outlined in this act. Okay? So what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that we have so many environmental laws. We have so many acts that talk about the environment but the principle the mother of them all is the environment management and coordination act in short it's called the MCA. so that is the mother of all environmental laws that we have here in kenya and like i said it gave birth to nema so now you understand where nema came from nema the national environment management authority that we have here in the country so then it is in this law that give birth. Now, this law talks about specific sectors of environment, how specific resources are supposed to be handled here in Kenya. For example, water. This act talks about managing water. Remember, this act is on management and coordination of the environment. So it talks about managing water and under that the, it gave birth to a regulation now that is very specific to water that is called the water regulation. Hope I'm making this look very simple. We have a law that is called MCA. From this law then it talks about conservation of water. It gives it gives a way forward on how we're supposed to conserve the water. So that we can specifically conserve the water then there's another law that comes on water and that is called the regulation these are called regulation okay so this law the main law we have in kenya and environment the principal environmental law emca has given birth 
two, one, nema. And then it has other rows that are called regulations. And now these ones are the ones that are specific to a sector, specific to water. We have a regulation on water. It is called water quality regulation. We have waste management regulation. You get what I'm saying? So they are specific to each sector. That is the main law when it comes to the environment. It is the principal law, meaning it is the highest when it comes to the environmental laws. So any other law that is there is managed or borrows from this MK. But this is not the only law in Kenya that we have that talks about the environment. Then we have a supreme law. Supreme means it is the mother of all laws that we have in Kenya. Guess what that is? That is the Constitution of Kenya 2010. So the Constitution of Kenya is the overall law in Kenya. It is the overall, the supreme law. And the Constitution talks about the environment. One, it provides you with the right to a clean and healthy environment. And then it comes with obligations. What is the government supposed to do? And what are you as an individual supposed to do when it comes to the environment? And if you do not do that, environmental offenses, what happens? So the constitution is the supreme law. Supreme is the highest law in this land. And it talks about the environment. Also now, the second after the constitution is the MCA, the Environmental Management and Coordination Act. So these are the two main environmental laws, the supreme law and the principal law. Is this as simple? Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you like this video, all of you, you now understand how the environment is run and coordinated by the government, give this video a thumbs up. Now, if you want me to do a video specifically probably on a specific sector that you want me to talk about, then let me know down in the comment section. Because in the next video, we shall be talking about specifically what does the constitution say when it comes to the environment. So still the next video, remember to subscribe to my channel. Hit on the that, 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 hit on that subscription button and then I will see you in the next video.